Hi guys, now ultimately anyone that owns an electric car will come across a charger that has been blocked by another electric car that has either finished charging or never started charging in the first place. Now typical EV etiquette would state that you would unplug that car because it's not charging and then plug your car in so you can get on with charging and therefore get on with your journey. However, sometimes the person who owns that car that's not charging comes back and gets very angry that you dared touch their car. Now there could be various reasons for them doing this, but ultimately it's because they suffer from a condition called arsotolitis. Now typically the poor people that suffer from this condition would then state that they're going to get the police on me for touching their car, because that's illegal. Now any sane person will probably think that is not illegal, so I thought I'd do a video on whether or not it is actually illegal or immoral in any way to unplug a car that's not charging and plug yours in. Are you doing anything to that car? Are you technically at fault for anything? That's what this video is about. To try and answer this question, I've spoken to several different police forces to make sure that they're all singing off the same hymn sheet when it comes to the answer. Ultimately, I've come to the conclusion that it isn't illegal and it's all down to the Criminal Attempts Act 1981, subsection nine. Section nine deals with interference with vehicles. Subsection one states that a person is guilty of the offence of vehicle interference if he interferes with a motor vehicle or trailer or with anything carried in or on a motor vehicle or trailer with the intention that an offence specified in subsection two below shall be committed by himself or some other person. Subsection 2 states that the offences mentioned in subsection 1 above are theft of the motor vehicle or trailer or part of it, theft of anything carried in or on the motor vehicle or trailer, and an offence under section 12 of the Theft Act 1968 taking and driving away without consent. Now my interpretation of this that if you unplug someone who is not charging and plug yours in, you are not committing any criminal act in any way or anything illegal by doing that and every single police force I spoke to said the exact same thing you are not interfering with the vehicle there is no intent there to interfere with the vehicle so this is only about when a car is plugged in but not charging or has finished charging because as we all know they are EV charging bays not EV parking bays the difference being when you have finished charging you move the car so ultimately, the police are not interested if someone rung them up because someone's been unplugged and plugged themselves in. And my interpretation of the same law is, I agree, of course, you are not doing anything that I have stated in the Criminal Attempts Act 1981 by unplugging someone. Now, of course, if you unplugged the car and caught the car somehow or scratched it, damaged it, dented it, that wouldn't be a criminal matter either, it would be a civil matter. You would have to pay for the damages, of course, that you have caused to that car. Much in the same way that if you uh, hit someone's car with a shopping trolley, you would have to pay for the damage. This is basically just unplugging someone and plugging yours in. So, assuming no damage, there is no problems at all legally with doing that. It's just normal, they're not interested, as in the police aren't interested. So, if anybody's suffering from that condition, arsolitis, does have a go at you for unplugging their car. There is nothing you have done wrong, there is nothing they can do to you, even out of spite. Well, saying that, there is one thing they could do out of spite, and that's claim that the stone chip they've got on their front bumper was caused by you when you unplugged your car. Now, just because this is the world we live in, what I do if I ever unplug someone else's car, and they're not around, of course, and to make sure that they can't blame me for any damage that may or may not be there, is I will get my phone out, start recording and then video me unplugging the car just to cover myself. We shouldn't have to do this, but it's probably worth doing. I also usually wait a few minutes before I actually unplug the car. Now charging etiquette, as it were, would be on your side. They're the ones that are effectively doing things wrong, not you by unplugging them. They shouldn't be there in the first place. Now in my experience, most people that get annoyed about this sort of thing happening to them are those that plug their car in in a charging bay to make it look like they are charging so they can utilize that parking spot next to the front door. If you go to any Ikea, you'll see this all the time, typically with a FEV. All you're doing by unplugging them and plugging you in is highlighting the fact that they shouldn't be there, which is probably why they ultimately get annoyed. So there we are, legally, no problems, morally, no problems. 
There is one thing which I probably will mention before someone does it in the comments, and that's the something called Charge Bump. It's an app which basically means that if you want it to charge your car and there's one blocking it, you can put their registration in and it will send them a notification saying, hi, can you move your car, please? Unfortunately, in the real world, this tends to not happen, at least not for me anyway. The trouble with Charge Bump is that the only people that know about it are people that kind of part of the EV community and know how you should behave in a charging spot. So ultimately, they're not the ones that are going to be blocking you. The people suffering from arsolitis are the ones that tend not to use things like Charge Bump or even know it exists, because if they did know it exists, they wouldn't be doing that in the first place. So yes, I'm aware of Charge Bump. It's a very good app, but in my experience, in fact, in the last nearly three years, I've never had a successful bump, as it were, with anybody that's blocking a charger. That's my take on things. What's your take on things? Let me know in the comments below. Has this happened to you where you've been blocked, you've plugged your car in and someone's had a go at you? Charge rage, I think the phrase is for that sort of thing. So if you're thinking about getting an electric car or you're just interested in them, please click the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching. I'm on Twitter under EVManUK and feel free to put in the comments or to tweet me about this video. I always like a good discussion. So once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.